money there. But then, obviously, there's a decline in those finance-related jobs. And uh, this has all happened in the last few years. And some of the, the big facts that came out uh, in the article were that 3,400 jobs were lost in Seattle when Washington Mutual sold to J.P. Morgan Chase. And then the other, the big one was in Bank of America. It, it basically said, like, their headquarters are based in North Carolina, and there was 9,000 jobs lost at their, like, headquarters. But in addition to that, they had 23,000 jobs lost in Chicago, 47, over 47,000 lost in Los Angeles, and nationwide, we're looking at 437,700 jobs. And that's just one bank. So they, they lost 7% of all their employees in a very short period of time, like from 06 to the present. Not only are the jobs disappearing, but people are stopped, they've stopped going into the market or the job field through colleges. Um, Harvard University has the figures from 07 to 09. They've gone down from 47% to 20% of people coming in going into financial uh, related majors. Um, Montclair State University has also started uh, take, accepting applications for a program called Traders to Teachers. That It's the logical place for the traders to go from Wall Street and wherever they were working to teaching their, uh, their trade. They, they can't hold up uh, uh, steady income outside of that. So they're going into the Montclair State University and they received 200 applications for their few slots they had. So, um, and then they're going elsewhere as well. They've gone to uh, the health markets, the government jobs and everything. The, it's up 40% from 24 in 2006 going into federal jobs, which is a considerably more stable job. I mean, they're not laying as many people off.